Mm. Okay. All right, fatty part right here. I'm gonna combine that, take that off. But look, like I said, you squeeze that thing together, <laughs> you can see it. State. I feel like Andre Fee right now. Oh. <laughs> Shout out, love and memory. Andre. Um, doing a steak. That's what we got. We got salt, mm -hmm. onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, uh -huh. real garlic. Mm. So, that's what we're gonna do. The first step, the oven is on. Right? Mm -hmm. We got the oven on. Now, the first step after that, I ain't gonna lie, the one thing I don't have because I wasn't prepared for it is butter. You gotta have some butter. Um, I don't have any butter though. I got a little 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 smidgy diggy. That's gonna work. <laughs> I didn't even realize I had that. We cook, we ahead of the game right now. All right. Steak dry. I don't know if y'all just saw me throw out the paper towel. Steak dry. Just took it out the bag. That's the uh, vacuum seal bag. The frosted steak looked good. Took it out the bag. Alright, so first thing we're going to do, sprinkle a little salt. Sprinkle a little salt. Alright. And it's a thick steak. So, don't think that I'm putting way too much salt. It's thick steak, it can handle it. A little onion powder. A little garlic powder. In this family, we like a, little, a, a nice taste of garlic in this family. I don't know why. Because one, it's delicious. <laughs> Two, I don't know. We just develop our buds like that. Sprinkle a little pepper. Now, I'm using the powders because the sear I'm gonna put on the steak, right? The sear I'm gonna put on the steak is gonna be a uh, strong sear. Now, if I use fresh cracked pepper, which I would normally use in other situations, but if I use fresh cracked pepper, it'll burn too fast. So the powder is gonna be fine. A little onion. A little garlic powder. Now, also notice that when I'm sprinkling it, it's going to be uh, some runoff onto the plate. I'm tapping it, trying to push it into the meat. I take that and I get the sides as well. Now look at that. Season sides as well. So you get all areas of the meat that you're going to plan on eating. Now my wife, she don't eat the fat. I know, I'm trying to tell her how to do it. <laughs> but me, you know, I eat the fat, that's flavor. But you take this, get all that seasoning off that plate. All right? Now, you want this to be nice and hot. You see the smoke coming off of it? So, now what I'm gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to uh, hit this fan. So don't mind the background noise. It's gonna be ambient background noise of that fan. But what you wanna hear is this. That's what you wanna hear. So, now I'll do a little mix, a little spin, right? Just to get some of that good grease. I put a little regular um, oil in it, and I put a little olive oil in it. But the olive oil will arrange the burning point. See, the key with that is, now I'm gonna leave it. But, let me wash my hands real quick. Oh, 
All right. So the key with the two different oils is, if I would have just put olive oil, olive oil is not a good frying oil or any oil where it takes a high temperature. A lot of times you don't even want to cook good olive oil. You want to just eat it how it is. So, if you add another oil to it, then it raises the burning point. Just like if I put butter in oil, now all of a sudden the butter won't burn as fast as it would. It go to a higher point. So that's the point. Oh, that smells good already. That smells good already. You know I got the knife set. I ain't gonna show the name, but look at that design, boy. <laughs> I'm just feeling good right now. Don't worry me. And like Auntie, I told you I'm in my Auntie pee bag right now. Shout out to Auntie. Love his memory, man. <laughs> Excuse me. But she loved using a fork. That's what she used. <laughs> a fork girl. All right, Auntie, I got you. Now, what I want to do is, you don't want to keep poking the stick, right? Look at that. Look at that. It's not done. It's coming up. Now, I'm using a fork, and I'm going to use a spoon. Yeah, she got all the dishes nice. Look at Pour the spoon. I'm also going to open this garlic. Now when I open this garlic, put it on this plate. And when I put it on this plate, that's a little too much garlic. But when I put it on this plate, what I'm going to do is take the back of the spoon, press it down, crush it. Crush garlic. Now the reason to crush that is it start breaking down some of them uh, mop, them um, structures of the, of, the, um, of the garlic itself. And as it breaks down the structure, it starts releasing oil. As it releases oil, then you know you're going to have a good flavor coming out. Take that, flip that boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now, at this point, what I'm going to do is take this crushed garlic, right? And I'm going to put that in a pan. All right? Put that in a pan, take the butter, scrape that, test. you see that scrape action right there? Scrape that right into the pan right there. Alright, now the fork is almost done. Alright, almost. You see that garlic right there? Oh my mm -hmm. god, that smells delicious. That smells delicious. Yeah, that's a nice smell. Now what I'm going to do is, at this point, right? Now, I got my steak going. Bring that garlic up. Move that around. Garlic is browning. Butter is browning. Oil is browning. You take that, you put that on top. You see that? Don't be scared to turn the pan. Let the pan work for you. You know what I mean? You paid for the pan. You gonna work for the pan too? Pay for it and work? Just get crazy. All right, let the pan work for you. Put that garlic up there. Right? Garlic will stop cooking, but that flavor keeps going. Oh my goodness. Keep putting that on top. Oh my goodness. And that's what you want to do. That's how you get that flavor throughout. That's how you get that flavor throughout. Let the pan work for you. You got all kinds of parts to the pan. You got the side. You got the edges. You got the top, the bottom, the handle, the grab it. I don't know, just name it spot. Let that pan work. All right, now what I'm gonna do is, this is a sliver of that butter, I'm not done with that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this garlic and put it there. All right, let that sit with that butter right there. Now, I'm showing y'all technique, but I'm also improvising at the same time, because I got stuff to do, and I gotta show y'all how to do it. But while I got certain things, I may not have this little extra bit of butter right there. So, you know what I mean? You may have to put that piece on the, uh, on the side somewhere. But I got the butter side. So, I'm going to put the butter on the black hand side. <laughs> okay. So, let me show you this. I'm going to grab the edge again. Grab the edge again. Oh, my goodness. Now, take that. Like Diddy. Take that like this. Take that, take that, take that. Take that, take that. Uh huh, take that. Uh huh, on the city. Take that. Alright, now what I'm doing is, you gotta get all sides of the steak. That's how you develop a crust. Alright? 
So I'm getting that fat side. Then I'm going to turn it over and get that side. Look at this side real quick. Turn it over and get that side. You got to get all sides of the steak. Make that steak look beautiful all over. Brown is beautiful. You know what I mean? So I'm brown. Well, that's, I ain't going to say no words about it. <laughs> you already know. You would say the same. I'll start it off. Brown is beautiful. I'm brown. You got it. <laughs> Look at that fat side. Look at that fat side. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. See, that's a, that's a nice ribeye right there. All right. So what I'm going to do is now, I'm going to turn off the heat. I'm going to turn off the heat. All right? Turn off the heat. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I'm going to flip this over just so you can see the other side with the brown. All right? All right, now look what happened with that. Look what happened with that. Wow. That's how you want it to look. That's exactly how you want it to look. All right? So, now what I'm going to do is this. And you can see, I'm going to show you this. If you look, it's not quite cooked yet. See, I'm cooking at a hot temperature. You see all in there. All in right there. It's not quite cooked yet. You see the thing. So don't think that I'm overdoing this thing. I'm not. What I'm doing is I'm making sure I got a nice crust because that crust is flavorful. Take that pan off the heat. Put it in that oven. Drop it like it's hot. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back when that thing done cooked. Right? Got it in the oven. It's going to finish baking. That's going to give it that all around even heat. I'm going to take it out. I like mine at a medium well. I don't like blood in my meat. Y'all say it's not blood. Blah, 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 blood is the enemy. So, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to bring y'all back and let me know how y'all like y'all steak. Let me know. You, oh, you overcooking the steak. Steak don't need no extra medium. Okay. But let me know how you do it. Put it in the comment. Let me know. Tell me how you do things. Put it down below and let me know. Then we're going to holler at you. So, for now, come back and I'm going to see y'all in a minute when I take this steak out. My wife done made some rice. I done got a little bit more of that rice from the other night when I made that arroz capoyo. And we gonna go from there. Alright, All right, we back to finish this up. Got the steak out. Alright? Steak is cooked. Now what I let it do, oh my goodness, look at that juice. Now what I let it do is, now I got a clean counter. Don't talk to me about clean counters. <laughs> Now, so, okay. the way this grain is running is like that. So you cut against the grain, all right? So, I let this steak sit and rest for about seven minutes. That's how I like my steak. A lot of people like their steaks red. I don't mind a little red, but at the same time, I want my steak done. So that way I know I don't got nothing to worry about. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that juice when I squeeze it together. Oh my goodness. Oh my. So you would think when you first look at it, that it's something, but you can see that juice when I squeeze that thing together. So I don't think that thing is dry, boy. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. They wouldn't call me Dr. Flavor if I ain't have it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> wow. So I cut this thing up. Now, of course, I got to give it a try for y'all to see what's it hitting for. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'll let you know. Oh, that thing ain't right. That thing right. That thing need this. I should have did this. No point lying to y'all. I want y'all to have the best experience y'all can have. Oh my goodness. By the looks of it, look good though. Now I'm cutting it up. My beautiful wife made some rice. Got a little season on it, so we're gonna have some seasoned rice. Oh my goodness. Got a nice salad here. Got some seasoned rice in that rice cooker. Looking good, too. Look at that thing. Yeah, you can see that season on that thing. All right. Um, 
I don't know what part to take. I'm gonna take a piece of the fatty part, and I'm gonna take a piece of the regular part. So this is that fatty part right here. I'm gonna combine that, take that off. But look, like I said, you squeeze that thing together, <laughs> you can see it. Mm. Okay. All right. This is what I would change about it. Nothing. That thing on point. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you one more of the non-fatty piece. And once again, just the one I was scraping. You see it? But when I squeeze it, oh my goodness. Look, I ain't it. You just, you just, see that thing come apart like that? Look, look, light pressure. I don't want to pull hard, light pressure. Okay. Now that piece, what I would change, ain't nothing on that either. So here's the thing. Y'all got to do this. Had that butter on that thing? Oh, what I did too was, when I left the last part of the video, what I did was, that garlic I had sitting on the side in that butter part, put that on top. Now, you got to remember, that's flavor, right? Now, this pan hot still, all right? But let me take a little bit of that, add it with this right here. Oh, my. You know what? I shouldn't do it to myself. Let me stop doing this because the family need to eat, but... I'm just trying to show y'all how this works. Okay. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. Oh my goodness. Mmm. 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 Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm gonna do. Y'all need to try this. I need to go. I need some time to myself. Come here, big man. Do this. Try this right here. Let me know what you think. Be honest. Let me know what you think. I'm happy. <laughs> I see it in your face. <laughs> ah, you know that I know I know tell me what you tell me all the time about the restaurant oh go ahead you don't know I don't remember you don't remember what, what about a restaurant me in the restaurant me is gonna cook okay well he said I should have a restaurant and he always added stuff to the menu so I don't know what's going on. That should be on the menu. That should be on the menu. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to highlight y'all. Let me, like I always say, comment down below. And subscribe. Oh, let me know. Subscribe. That's going to get money in the making. <laughs>